So how was the drive? Yeah, no, it's very nice. Very nice. No, I think I have to go in here and find Elvis. Okay. I have no idea what type of codes I'm going to assume. I'm going to hope it's something really easy. My initial hunch is it's just a Caesar um, shift of one, so I'm just writing it out to make it easier to decide. So, um, if that's the case, that would be. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. I recognise these, these are the for Elder Stones. Those are the actual real ones? The real ones, yeah. Wow. <laughs> they look like the stones that I have. Okay, this has something like a X marks a spot on it, this one. <laughs> it says, time to take a break and enjoy a cold beer in the saloon. Which I guess is near here. How does it feel to be standing next to the real Peralta stones in Phoenix, Arizona? Yeah, that's great. I spent so long trying to solve those stones that's led me here. <laughs> and now I've got my own set, which don't make any sense to me again. So I'm right back where I started, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Annika. Well, you're doing great so far. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Hi there. I was wondering if you could help me. Um, so can you tell me where I can find this building here? This building is over in a town called Goldfield. Goldfield, yes. okay. It's about three quarters of a mile down the highway on your left side. Okay, thank you very it's much. A reproduction of an old mining town. Right, okay. Okay. Thank you, thanks for your help. Good. Yeah, this is definitely it. That's a uh, saloon in the picture. I don't know what to 
do when I get there yet. <laughs> I need to find these two places. I need to find um, the Prospectus Palace and I need to find the Bordello. Forgive me, I don't think so. You should work in Bordello. Okay. <laughs> That's not yours. Uh, uh, you're too kind to work over there. Uh, Prospector Palace, they are both outside. Both outside, okay. I, So the riffles to help trap the gold in the pan, that way you're less likely to lose the gold. Now gold is a heavy sink in this pan, so it's already at the bottom. Okay. And that's why you have to get rid of the lighter sand that's on top. Then after you get rid of the sand, I'll give you a, a vial and some tweezers. You pick out what you want to take home. Okay. okay. So you just put your pan on the water, a little bit of an angle, and you want to go back and forth. Mm -hmm. See so the water, take out just a let, um, top layer of sand and leave behind the heavy stuff, which is the gold. And then after you get most of the sand out, I'll give you your vial and you can go from there. Okay. So I'll give it a try. Dip the right off surface, yeah. and then go towards me and that. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, that's real good. Yeah, don't forget to shake the pan around a little bit. Okay. That'll loosen all the sand up and it'll come out easier. Okay. I'm 
ماشین Sell it to you, and I meant to give this as payment. I panned it at the prospectus palace. So long, yeah. That is all I could get. Ooh! <laughs> I was honey, hoping it would be enough. It's not quite enough, but I'll, I'll let you work it off. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not that bad. Okay. Nothing like what you think. Right? Okay. I'm just gonna have you give a tour for me, okay? Okay. Yeah, I can Does that. Does that work out? Yeah. So when our next customer comes up, I'll have you give him a tour. Okay. okay. Dutchman State Park like this. And this bit must go here. Okay, so I seem to have a map, but I've no idea where this place is. Um, I can go here and start near a map kiosk. And then I can go on to a treasure loop trail, and in the mid which is near a Jacob's Crosscut trail. And in the middle of this, there is an X, and it tells me here that X marks the spot. So I think I need to find the Lost Dutchman State Park. Yeah, I'm hoping so. Okay. I have a treasure map. Oh, 
Um, okay. I'm going to find out where my X is. I'm hoping you can help me. Oh, okay. Let me build the map for you. Certainly. Okay. So. I, I read upside down. Okay. <laughs> This will mean something to you. Yeah. I need to find this X here. All right. Well, that looks like the mountain. That kind of correlates to here. Okay. And I see a fence line, which correlates with a fence line here. Okay. And it looks like I know where that one looks like. It should be about right there. So you're right here right uh, now. Okay. Which correlates to that. So you're going to go past this building. Okay. And then he's going to head back toward the mountain, and I'd say park at Pal Ready. Then you'll see a little trail that goes right there, right through this middle gate. Okay. And that looks like he's going to take you straight up to the X. Okay, great. So I can take this map. Certainly. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. I'm the Treasure Loop Trailhead. I need to find go onto the trail. Hey, what are you doing? Looking for lost Dutchman gold. Is there gold around here? Oh, there's a lot of gold here. Really? Absolutely. <laughs> Do I have your permission to put you on the web? Sure, absolutely. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. to stand here. Sure. sure. So Annika, after all this time spending almost two hours and 55 minutes in hot pursuit of the world's greatest treasure hunt chapter four prize, this beautiful silver eagle, you made it on time. Congratulations. Thank you. So how was the day today for you? It's been really busy and I've been rushing around and all sorts <laughs> of really crazy things. Did you enjoy it? I really enjoyed it, yeah. How does it feel to be standing in front of the Superstition Mountains the fabled mountains in which our chapter 4 story was written about. It's really strange because I was reading that chapter over and over for so many years and now they're here in front of me. So. That's very cool. So, Annika, you're standing in front of the mountains here. We've got other questers here helping us uh, in, in presenting this prize. And before I can present you with the first place prize for chapter 4, the Lost Dutchman Goldmine chapter, Every good treasure hunt ends with what? It ends with the X marks of spot. Correct. So can you please do your final thing that you need to do before I can officially award you this prize for Chapter 4 in the world's greatest treasure hunt? Okay, I think I'm going to find something hopefully underneath here. Okay. I have it. <laughs> yes, you do. Annika, congratulations. Thank you. This is an official certificate of ownership okay. for Chapter 4, yep. the Lost Dutchman Chapter. Mm -hmm. So on behalf of the world's greatest treasure hunt, Quest for the Golden Eagle, I would like to officially announce that you are the winner for Chapter 4 and allow you to receive your prize. Oh, thank you very much. This is a solid silver eagle. I've got it. Worth approximately $35,000. Wow. It's got two blue sapphire eyes and yeah. it weighs approximately 14 pounds of solid pure silver. It Congratulations. Does weigh a lot. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so there you go. Another happy winner in the world's greatest treasure hunt, Quest for the Golden Eagle, Annika Wolf from London, England. Congratulations to her and thanks for everybody in playing the world's greatest treasure hunt. Make sure you try for Chapter 5 following up in Houston 
and uh, the, the gold story in Houston, Texas is next for chapter five.